Hey everyone, it's Shalina from MuggleBorn.net and I'm here with a July 2013 TBR. Can't believe it's been so long since I made a video, but since I had a lot of extra time today, I thought I'd just record one. I haven't been around much because I've been more active uh, working for a site called Post Scripted. I've been writing a lot of reviews over there, so if you want to find out more about what I've been working on, you should definitely check out the site. I okay. And I should also mention that pretty soon I'll start posting up video reviews of all the books I've been reading, so you should definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel. The link will be below. I've been pretty bad with reading in general, like the last semester has been super crazy busy for me, so I haven't been really reading a lot. But I have a few weeks of vacation, so I'm going to read in full force and hopefully get some reviews up on Post Scripted. I'm planning on reviewing every Monday starting mid-July and early August, so you should definitely check out and stay up to date on all my posts there. So I'm starting off the 4th of July weekend with a few review books. The first one is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. I don't really know much about this book except the fact that it's a page turner that will keep me guessing. That's what my friends on Goodreads say. The next book on the list is A Really Awesome Mess by Trish Cook and Brendan Halpin. I don't really know much about this book. I requested it off NetGalley when I was in my contemporary mood. So I need, I need a bit of a break from contemporary right now, but the book's release date is coming up soon, so I need to read it soon. The next book on my July TBR list is The Boy in the Bridge by Natalie Stanford. Um, I actually saw this book at BA. Scholastic was giving out arcs of it, but unfortunately I didn't get a chance to grab one. Um, this book is about a girl who's studying abroad in Russia during the Cold War. It reminded me a bit of Anne and the French Kiss, minus the fact that it's historical, so I really wanted to read it. Plus the cover is really cute. It's super girly and cutesy, but whatever. The next book on my TBR list is The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. I'm actually still waiting for this book from the library. I'm on hold, but hopefully I'll get it soon. I have three books to finish, so by the time I finish them, I hope I have the copy on hand. Um, the reason why I'm picking up The House of the Scorpion is because I have the sequel, The Lord of Opium. Um, basically, The House of the Scorpion was one of my favorite novels growing up. I still remember the first time I read it maybe 10-ish years ago. Because it's been such a long time, I want to reread the book before I get to the sequel. The last book on my official TBR list is Anatomy of a Single Girl by Darius Nadowski. I received this book from the author. Uh, my sisters read her other book, Anatomy of a Boyfriend, and she really liked it. This sounds like a fun summer read, and even if I'm on hold for a while from contemporary novels, it sounds like a fun book, and I'm willing to just give it a shot. So that's my official TBR list for July. I do have a few other books that I want to read, but I don't know if I'll have time to get through them this month. The first is a Jessica Darling series. I actually just read her spin-off, Jessica Darling's It List, and it made me want to read the Jessica Darling series all over again. Secondly, The Lord of Opium by Nancy Farmer. I'm hoping that once I reread The House of the Scorpion, I'll just want to dive into this book. I also want to read The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater this month, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, I'm waiting for the right moment to pick up this book. I really, really love The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, though I'm a little bit biased because my name's in it. But you know what? I feel like this is the kind of book that I really need to be in the mood for. I'm always nervous about picking up sequels just because sometimes sequels don't live up to my expectations. But this is Maggie Steve Fodder. So I Lastly, if I also have time, I want to read The Anatomy of a Boyfriend by Darius Nadowski. I know that I'm going to read things out of order. Anatomy of a Single Girl was pubbed after Anatomy of a Boyfriend, but I've been told that it's it can be read as a standalone, so I'm not too worried. I'm just going to read it for fun and see how it goes. Just to wrap things up, I want to talk about my Goodreads challenge. I'm so behind. Right now I'm eight books behind. I don't think I'm going to catch up totally in July, but I think I'm going to make some progress. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys subscribe to Postscripted because that's where I'll be updating mostly from now on. Bye!